people Sven from Arealis Kites and in today's little video we are going to take a closer look at the leading edge of my A-Quad Hardcore because I think there is something wrong with it. So let's get started. When I was out flying here the other day I suddenly felt that there was something wrong and I took a closer look at the kite up there and I saw this tiny dent on its leading edge. So I brought the kite down and uh, rather than having a look at it on the beach, I just grabbed another kite out of the bag and continued to fly. But today I've got some time on my hands and I will see what's wrong with the leading edge because there is something wrong to it. Let's unpack it. As you might know, um, a leading edge of a quad kite is made up by three pieces. You have a center piece in the middle, a center rod, and you have an outer rod on each side. And I have to remove all these three rods and take a closer look at them to see if there's something wrong, something's broken or whatever. So, in order to do that, I will have to remove the rods from the leading edge pocket and the easiest way to do that is to move the cup a little and here we have one of the leading edge rods one of the outer ones and now I am going to remove this one and I grab it here at the end and gently pull it out of the pocket. When I remove this rod, this leading edge connector will come loose, so I better pay some attention to that one so I won't lose it. Okay, now the rod is completely removed from the sleeve and as far as I can see, there is nothing wrong with this one. Okay, let's do the same with the other outer rod. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. And I repeat the procedure for this side of the kite. And pay a little attention to that connector. This one was kind of stuck in here so it could be that yeah I think I think this one's broken let's try to get it out of here anyway I will have to change my uh, angle of approach here I have now turned the kite around and hopefully that will give me a better grip so that I will be able to remove the rod completely because I can see here it's broken and it's got kind of stuck inside this leading edge connector but we'll fix it I think yeah here we go and rather than pulling it out in that direction, I pull it out in. The other direction, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Here is the rod, and if I bring it a little closer to the camera, you can see what's broken. You can clearly see that so all I have to do now is to remove this connector from the rod and I gotta be careful so I won't get 
hurt by any of the splinters. But it should be possible to get this rod out of here. Yeah. There we go. We can take a closer look at it again. And you can see it's broken. So all we have to do now is to replace this rod. And you know what? I've got the spare one right here. And if I compare them, you can see that they are of different lengths. Where's my kite? On the floor. Now we need to insert this outer rod into the leading edge pocket again. And uh, let's see if we can do that. Yeah. I also have to remember that we need to attach this leading edge connector. So let's do that as well. Okay, and then we can slide it all the way into the leading edge pocket. this and we need to repeat the process for the other side of the kite and I'll do it by simply entering the rod into the pocket like this shove it all the way through the end insert this leading edge connector and all I have to do now is to insert this rod all the way into the pocket. Now let's assemble the leading edge to check that it's okay again. Okay, and cap like that. Turn it around and secure it on the other end as well. See if we can put it there we go. Yeah. Now this leading edge fixed, no dents, no broken parts, and the kite's ready to fly. What to do about this guy then? Chuck it away? No. I've got a suggestion for you. If you happen to have a hacksaw, a dremel tool, or something like that, you can just Cut off the broken piece of the rod and use what's left of it as a spare part or a building material for another project of yours. So it's not a complete waste. You know, a few of my rokakus have uh, their spines made up from broken rods just like this. So no, don't throw it away. Reuse it. If you'd like to see more maintenance videos like this or any other kite video for that matter why not consider subscribing to the channel and while you're at it make sure to whack that bell icon too so that you'll be notified every time i upload new stuff to the channel and in the meantime take care stay safe peace and just fly